disappeared off of our farm in Thanksgiving weekend, 2003, at the age of three and a half. I let her out in the morning, and she uh, didn't show up for breakfast. It was about an hour before I realized she hadn't shown up. And we live in a, a, a large farm in a rural area in Spotsylvania County. Uh, we looked for her. She was microchipped. She had a collar with tags on. We advertised in the paper. We did the... SPCA, the pound, and so forth, and uh, with no luck. So uh, last night we got a call from our local vet office, and they asked me if we still owned Petunia, and I said, well, no, she's been missing since 2003. And they said, well, she's been found in California. And it's kind of ironic, tomorrow, uh, today is my husband's birthday, and to find out on the eve of his birthday that the dog's been found eight years later, it's beside itself. Um, our officers get called to meet with someone who's found a dog in the Spenceville Wildlife Area. They're, they're doing some kind of field trials with their hunting dogs and found a dog. And so Officer Woolery went up, met with this woman, impounded a, a nice pit bull. The woman said, this is um, really a nice dog. And, and we did the usual intake process where we vaccinate the dog for distemper, parvo, bordetella, uh, parainfluenza, and adenovirus. And so anyway, we vaccinated the dog. Um, we took a photograph of the dog, weighed the dog, and scanned for a microchip. It's all part of the standard intake process when we receive a stray dog. And lo and behold, a microchip was detected. Um, so our kennel technician called the Avid Microchip Company, um, who referred them to a veterinary clinic in Virginia. Uh, the vet clinic in Virginia then let us know the name of the owner. We contacted the owner. Um, who was elated to find out that we'd found her dog. And certainly, the Spenceville Wildlife um, area is a fairly remote area. There are little to no housing um, in the area, so I don't know how she got where she was. Petunia's, Petunia's unique. She's, she's special. She's a good dog, and I just cannot believe she has survived.